For this section of the training, we'll be using the Zeiss demo slide, the Convalaria sample. To place your sample on the stage of this microscope, place the slide on the two small shelves and push it back under the metal tabs to hold it firmly in position. This is an upright microscope, so the cover slip should be on the upside. For the purpose of this training, we are going to use a 40x 1.3 NA oil immersion objective, and by selecting that objective in the software, the correct objective moves into place, and the motorized condenser moves to its correct position. This sample is fluorescent in the blue, green, and red channels. Using the software favorite channels, I can select the GFP filter and the live button, which also turns on the relevant LED illumination line in order to excite the sample. I'll need to add immersion fluid onto the slide first. For this, I'll use the Zeiss Imisol F oil. Move the stage to the approximate right position under the objective and place a small drop of oil onto the slide. I'll place the oil back in the container on the table and begin to wind the stage towards the objectives by rotating the focus knob counterclockwise or over and away from you. When the stage is fully lowered, it can take a few turns to rise the stage to the focus position. I don't need to look down the eyepieces until I know the objective is within the oil. To do this, I'll look for a flash when the objective meets the immersion fluid. I can then use the eyepieces to find the correct focus using the fine adjustment knob. And we have focused our sample. From here in, the training will be a screen capture of the software Zen Blue and how to view and capture your sample. Once you have found your sample and you can see it through the eyepieces, you can use the live camera feed on the screen so that you can see your sample is in focus. This microscope has a quad band filter which covers DAPI, GFP, M Cherry, and Sci5. We also have individual band pass filters for DAPI, GFP, M Cherry, and Sci5. There is single channels for Brightfield and DIC. And you can choose to use the color camera or the monochrome camera. The difference between the quad band filter and the single band pass filters are that the quad band is a compromise for speed where it is capable of using the LED light source to capture the DAPI, GFP, MCherry, and Sci5 without moving any physical components, allowing for high speed imaging. Whereas the single band pass filters are individual filter cubes and will re be required to be moved between channels of the acquisition. However, at the compromise of speed, you have better signal capturing capability using these filters. The sample that's loaded onto the microscope now, Convalaria slide, has DAPI, GFP, and M-Cherry signal. We can use the single band pass filters to also view this illumination. We can take a quick snap of one channel, could move to a different channel, this time the quad band, and take an additional snap. Images that you've taken are loaded on the right hand side. You also have images along the top that you can swap between. You can left click on the cog to the upper right of the image and change to two containers and drag a second image into that to view side by side and to make quick comparisons between images that you've already captured.
to go back to one container, left click on the cog and select one container. Images that aren't saved have an orange pencil and can be right clicked and save or save selected as. You can choose the save icon at the lower image container list. Choose save up the top. Well, there are a number of methods like autosave, which will be covered later.